Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you for joining me. Yesterday at about 5.53 p.m. Central Daylight Time, there was a magnitude 2.8 earthquake. Uh, eight kilometers north of Dyersburg, Tennessee. It was a part of the New Madrid Fault Zone. So far, 98 people have reported feeling this earthquake. Unusually, USGS upgraded this earthquake. Originally, they said it was a magnitude 2.7. And when I saved the webpage, uh, 96 people reported feeling it. They said 11 kilometers in depth. Then they changed it to 10.6 kilometers de in depth, and 98 people reported feeling it. They also changed the location of this earthquake. Here's the original 2.7. EMSC said it was a 2.8. And they changed it from over here to over here. Not very far. There is a home over there. Right there. The felt reports came all the way from St. Louis, Missouri. You can see it there. And most of them came from near Dyersburg. Um, here we got Shelby down here to the south. Let's see how many we got down by Selby. Okay, we got one there, three there, one there, uh, three there, 12 there, another 12, 52 from close to where the earthquake happened. Okay. I don't know if you can see, but the red lines are areas of the new Madrid fault zone. It goes all the way down here. Um, let's zoom in here to Mark Tree, and it goes all the way up north. Let's see, uh, Mount Carmel. Now that's a seismic zone, but the fault itself probably extends much farther. And I've talked about this failed rift system that extends up around Lake Michigan and goes up along here by the uh, the lakes and Lake Superior and um, uh, part of the uh, Grembin Fault Zone. We also have the St. Louis Rift System. You know, and I, I've been talking about this. Th this failed rift is actually a very wide area, which got me to thinking about um, how many states does it cover. Originally, um, the United States was going to separate, split in half, and allow the Atlantic Ocean to flow into these areas. Um, that would happen because of subduction, which would probably cover about three states. And this would probably be today all underwater if that failed rift system didn't stop for whatever reason. I don't know how many of you are familiar with Edgar Casey and his talk. Uh, his prophecies about um, the flooding of America. This is a U.S. Navy map of the future of America and different areas that they say could flood. Notice it's along this failed rift system. Forbes magazine even had a map and detailing about this prophecy, and it talked about the East Coast. Now, um, Edgar Casey predicted that it would be caused by the um, polar shift. Or as some people like to call it, the magnetic pole reversal. But I have been reporting how the earthquakes along the new Madrid fault system have been increasing. And how the uh, plates of the continent are even moving. Uh, we had an earthquake last week um, here in South Dakota, which is really unusual. That was a magnitude 2.9. Now that was near Bottle, uh, South Dakota. I also reported about the uh, solar eclipse that occurred this morning and how that, because of the moon, would increase the likelihood of earthquakes, according to USGS, by three times. You could get up to uh, three times more earthquakes caused by the moon going in front of the sun. Interestingly, too, this morning at the same time as that um, solar eclipse, they're having king tides. Um, in the San Francisco Bay Area. And I guess those king tides are going to be continuing until about 7 p.m. 
um, this evening their time. I've also got messages from people who follow my channel who said they felt the shaking from this earthquake that occurred uh, last night there. And I also got messages about people along um, the Sawtooth Mountain Range, which is um, part of the area for Yellowstone Supervolcano, saying they've been feeling constant shaking up there. And uh, one fellow, his sister's house, has settled or moved about 10 feet. So 2020 has been quite a year. Um, did you feel this earthquake? Yeah, what is 2021 uh, going to bring us? They're saying, too, that this vaccine that they've now started distributing here in the United States isn't going to prevent you from catching the coronavirus and passing it on to people. It just lessens the chances of dying from the Chinese virus. So even though many people are going to get the vaccine, they're still going to be able to catch the virus and pass it on to others, just that they're not going to have symptoms um, like they might if they never got the vaccine. Myself, I'm not going to get it because I am one of the people that has um, allergic reactions, have to carry an EpiPen, my grandson too. Um, he has allergies, allergic reactions, so he would not be eligible even if we wanted to get the vaccine, but we're, I'm against it. Now, my daughter, on the other hand, she says she's going to get the vaccine, but yeah, what is 2021 going to bring us? Only God knows, right? So what are your thoughts? Please put your comments down below. Thank you for watching. Please stay safe and I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.